Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about Villains of Valley View Season 1 Episode 5 Colossal Con. So, in this episode, there are two plots going on. There's one with Cecile wanting to rent, and Kobe is stuck as a towel. I've been wondering, like, he's been showing up less and less in this series. I wonder if he has, like, scheduling conflicts or something, but they had the audio of him. And there's one where the other group of kids, they go to Colossal Con. See, what happened is this. While they're watching TV and everything. Oh, wait, he does show up in this episode for like a brief second. Uh, but anyway, um, so they're watching TV. And it turns out Colossal Con is coming. This giant, like, superhero um, co um, comic con type thing. And Starling is going to guest appear there. Now, Amy slash Havoc, she hates Starling because of the last battle they had and that whole meme and everything. But we get to see how that actually happened. So we get a flashback. They're fighting each other. They're throwing down punches and kicks and all kind of stuff. They're using their powers on one another. The wire work on Starling flying ability looks so fake. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, they're fighting and they're fighting. And then I think, what's his name? Jake shows up and then Starling hits like, you know, Havoc with like a really big blast and she falls down. That's where the meme started. And because Jake is the one who took the picture and stuff. And so she's embarrassed ever since then, and she wants her revenge. She wants it bad. So she wants to go to um, Colossal Con. But of course, Hartley and Jake's are like, you can't go because if she recognizes you, that'll expose your identity, stuff like that. So while they're at school, they see Amy's making some type of like chemical type stuff in like a little lab experiment. And so she plans on making like this type of like kryptonite type stuff that will take away all of Starling's powers. And they're all like, you know, you can't do that, blah, 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 blah. So they keep trying to block her from going, even to the point where Jake puts her in these like electronic like handcuffs. But she gets herself out of it because she lies to Hartley's all like, can you just loosen them a little bit? They hurt my wrist. So then she gets to drop on her and put Hartley in the cuffs. And then she goes off to Colossal Con. Well, one of the people there is like, you can't get in without a costume. And she's like, where am I supposed to get that? The only ones they have is Starling costume. So of course she doesn't want to wear that. <laughs> but she has to. And so she's like basically just walking around looking for Starling, but then in comes Hartley dressed as Havoc. And <laughs> the way she got out of it, she's all like yoga and a lot of spit. Ew. <laughs> I can break handcuffs easy. Um, just like by using, well, I can't say what because then <laughs> people start using that technique. But, anyways, <laughs> so she's shocked that, um, and also delighted that Hartley is dressed as her because Hartley's been going to this thing for five years. And then she finds out why. So as she's giving like Hartley the slip and everything, she sees a bunch of girls waiting in a line dressed as Havoc. And she's like, oh my God, I have fans. Even with that meme and everything, people still worship me and everything. But then she finds out why they're dressed like her. In comes Starling. And they're there to recreate the pose of the meme and they pay her money for it. So Amy's now furious and then she realizes, oh, this is what Hartley's been doing for five years because Hartley's a huge Starling fan. I wish there could have been some drama between those two because of that, but there's not. So basically she goes back to wanting to wreak havoc, huh. <laughs> no puns intended, on Starling. But in comes Jake dressed as that superhero that he dressed in episode three. And so as they're talking to him, they want to know why he's there and stuff. Well, we don't know exactly why, but we find out later. So Amy gives him the slip again and she gets on the rails, the scaffolding, the poor, the kryptonite type stuff on Starling. Jake uses his superpowers to knock her off and everything. And it turns out she got it, the, um, the, the, the chemical mixed up with her juice, <laughs> her cranberry juice and everything. So basically... 
Hartley and Amy had like a brief heart to heart and everything. And so then they leave. But then Jake is still there and he goes up to Starling. He's all like, thank you, with a real sincere look on his face. And she's like, for what? But well, she gets like swarmed by fans, right? Then we get another flashback. Apparently, he was dangling off a roof with just one arm and he was about to fall. And Starling saved him. Now he had super strength, so I don't know why he just wasn't able to use that. But anyway. And so she saved him and everything when he was a villain. And then so she gives him an autographed picture of herself. Well, let's get into the actual family. So basically the dad needs a towel to dry off and he has his son turn into a towel. Why he couldn't get a real one is beyond me. Well, Kobe gets stuck as a towel. <laughs> and it makes him some pretty hilarious stuff. Well, in comes Cecile wanting to rent, and they're all like, well, we can't because the dryer is broke. That's why we can't dry the towel. And then she's all like, this is broken, that's broke. But then they're like, okay, fine, whatever. There's a ghost in the house, so you should give us half price. And then so Cecile makes a confession. Multiple people died in that house, but she won't say how. But then she starts knocking off half price on their rent because they was unable to pay it. So when Jake goes upstairs because he wants to talk to the parents, the mom's all like, oh, yeah, people died in this house. So he knows what happened, but we still don't know. And when he comes down, he looks at his autograph picture and the big reveal happened. Starling wrote, I know who you are. <laughs> so it's like, holy crap. So now what's going to happen? I don't know because Disney Plus only has the first five episodes and I don't have cable and the Disney um, Now app is so weird and stuff. It won't let me view none of the stuff because it's like it's blocked and I guess I'm not paying a high enough like Wi-Fi service or whatever. But yeah, it's kind of interesting that somebody knows their secret and especially a superhero. So what's really going to happen now? It makes you wonder. Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.